It's the Dad Show. Please welcome your host, Mr. Cameron, Mr. Post, Mr. Zimmerman. Together, the three of them are the Dude Advice Duo. Duo? But there's three of them. It doesn't even make any sense. Who wrote this? That's right. Welcome back to the Dad Show. Glad to see you back here again. That's right. Last episode, we saw some great interviews with some wonderful teachers about some wonderful books. Mr. Zimmerman's going to tell you a little bit about what he's got in store this episode. We've got six more interviews coming to you right now. Um, and this is all for March's reading month. So check it out. By the way, you guys, you guys have sweet glasses. You look sharp. It's time for Dudes Visit the Classroom. Here's Mr. Zimmerman. Mrs. Pitch, yes. thank you so much for joining us. What book do you have here? I have The Cat in the Hat. Yeah, tell us why the students should The very best vote. book in the whole wide world. He rhymes, he does it all. Dr. Seuss is the best. And don't you guys remember, even those of you that are in fifth grade, remember what fun it is to read The Cat in the Hat? So much fun. Vote for us, please. Yes, and I love your hat, by thank the way. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Mrs. McKenzie, thanks so much for joining us here today. Um, I would love to just ask you, what book have um, you chosen for your class for March's Reading Month, and why should students read this book? Our class voted on the land of stories, and if you've been in my second grade class before, you know that this book is filled with adventure and mystery and fairy tales, and every year my class votes for this book because they love it so much. So if you'd like adventure and mystery and fairy tales, it's all wrapped up into here. All right, well, good luck. Fingers crossed that you advance. Thank you very much. Ben Stencil, what is your book about? It is about a caterpillar who is supposed to turn into a butterfly. He doesn't realize that he has to be patient. It's got really good life lessons for us because we all work on patience sometimes, sometimes. Well, thank you so much for joining us, so and I wish your book um, good luck. Mrs. Bean, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I've got one question for you. Um, your book ha has moved along. Could you please tell us what book you've chosen for your class, and also what your strategy is? Well, Mr. Zimmerman, our book is Bread and Jam for Francis, and it is the best book. And you know, in first grade, we learn a lot of things, a lot of things. But the most important thing we learn in first grade is how to win. So our learning target is win, 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 win. And that's it. And your success criteria is winning. That's our strategy. Thank you so much for joining us. No I hope problem. you uh, I hope you win. I hope I win too. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Miss Baird. Um, I would love to ask you a question about why should students in our school read Harry Potter and why should they vote for your book? Um, I think it's pretty obvious that Harry Potter is is going to be a classic. Um, it is just an amazing book, an amazing story. Um, of a boy who um, finds out that he is a wizard and it is full of fun and magic um, and you know my I myself was on the Michigan Quidditch team for anyone who knows Harry Potter um, I'm a huge fan of the book and the series and I think people should definitely vote for this book and it sounds like others are a fan too because they are voting you along so yes. Thanks so much for joining us today. Of course. Thank you. Mr. Post, hey, hey. thanks so much for joining us on this segment of The Dad Show. Glad to be um, part of it. I'd like to hear a little bit about your book and why yeah. sh students should vote for this one. Yeah, so we've got uh, A Night Divided. A Night Divided is a thrilling, fast-paced, historical fiction book. Um, it's about a young lady who is separated by half of her family by the Berlin Wall. Uh, they have no way to contact each other and there are guards all over the wall. So you gotta, you gotta read to find out how it goes. So great book. Check it out and good luck. 
Well, thank you so much to all those teachers for those interviews and for your time. Nice, nice, nice glasses there, yeah. Mr. Zimmerman. Guys, yeah, those are nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yes, I had a student who, uh, it's kind of weird. He wanted to make a belt out of clocks. Anyways, I told him not to because it would have been a waste of time. Thanks for tuning into The Dad Show. The three of us look forward to seeing you again.